What's up everyone, back in Hungry Shark World. So yesterday I showed you how to get a lot of gold really fast. Today I'm gonna show you how to get a lot of gems really fast. And actually one of the best ways is by watching ads. Because you only got one gem for watching an ad in Hungry Shark Evolution. But in this game you actually get two gems for watching an ad. So you can actually get a decent amount of gems pretty fast just by doing that. Then of course you can get gems by playing the game. And they can really be in anything, but there are some things that they are in more often than others. Those are going to be purple jellyfish. If you are playing as Megalodon or if you have a Mega Gold Rush, shark cages, people, and submarines. And the most obvious way you can get them is from the gem fish. Most of the time they're just randomly swimming in the ocean, but there are some spots where you can find them pretty often. And they're not going to be there every time, just sometimes. So I'm going to show you some of these spots as well as some spots where you can find purple jellyfish. Starting in the Pacific Islands, one place you want to check is the swimming pool, because there's a decent shot that you'll find a gem fish in it. The next spot is on the far right side of the map. If you can make it over that beach, you do need a bigger shark to get over, but if you can make it and get down in this tunnel, there's usually going to be two gem fish. The next spot is the Galleon, which is the sunken ship at the bottom of the ocean. Sometimes there's none, sometimes there's only one, but sometimes there's two gemfish, one on each side of the ship. And the last spot in the Pacific Islands is actually underneath the Galleon. So if you come out of the Galleon, swim straight down, and then to the right, you'll find this spot that will sometimes have a gemfish, but it always has a whole bunch of purple jellyfish that you can try to eat and hope to get a gem out of. Moving on to the Arctic Ocean, and there really aren't that many great spots to look for gems in this ocean. Most of the time it's just gonna be finding a random gem fish, but if you can find the sunken cruise liner and swim straight to the right, you're gonna find this door. And if you break through it, it's gonna have a spot with a whole bunch of purple jellyfish. And you really just have to eat all of them because you never know which one has a gem. Sometimes none of them have a gem. Then if you keep swimming straight to the right, you're gonna find this spot that has three mega mouth sharks. And sometimes there's gonna be a gem fish above them. And if you keep swimming a little bit more, you're gonna find this cavern or cave. And it sometimes will also have a gem fish. Onto the Arabian Sea, and you probably want to do this one on a mega gold rush, because you can see once you break through that door, there's a ton of mines. But past the mines, there's almost always one gemfish, and sometimes there's even two gemfish. And this is a spot with a whole bunch of purple jellyfish, and again, you just have to eat all of them, because you never know which one is going to have a gem. And this is kind of a secret spot on the far right side of the map, but if you can find it, sometimes it'll have a gemfish. And that pretty much does it for my advice about how to get a lot of gems. Watch ads, target the places that I showed you, and the things that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, which are going to be submarines, shark cages, people, and purple jellyfish. Hopefully that helps you get a lot of gems, and I will see you guys in my next video.